Germany has made some massive promises to increase its renewable energy to 80% of the country's power mix by 2030. It's got six and a half years to do this. Based on what it's doing today, it's physically impossible. Now, there's many European countries deploying enormous amounts of renewable energy, solar, wind, and batteries. Germany is not one of them because, well, because, well, Tesla know exactly why this is, because it happened to them. Spain has just joined Germany. What does that mean by joining Germany? Not in any wars or anything crazy like that, fortunately. What I'm talking about here is renewable energy. Germany has been over 50% in their renewable energy mix production this year. Spain now has just hit the 50% mark as well. And the UK looked over it and said, well, actually, you know what? That's great what you're doing, but we're about to install a hell of a lot more than both of you combined. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. And I think we don't talk about this enough. No one's really talking about it. The media doesn't talk about it. The mainstream media in Australia never mentions this stuff. I don't think the US does either. But renewable energy is skyrocketing. Many countries around the world this year having incredible years when it comes to the deployment of solar panels, battery energy storage, energy storage in general, and wind as well. And this is actually turning out to mean that far less fossil fuels will be burnt in so many different countries this year. Spain is on track to generate more than half of its power from renewable energy sources in 2023, according to independent research firm Reistad Energy, making it the first of the top five European countries by power demand to reach the milestone, according to Reistad. But I don't think that's true because last year, Germany hit 49%, and I believe they're actually gone over 50% already this year as well. A new Reistad Energy report forecasts that Spain will surpass the 50% average mark in 2023, beating out neighboring powerhouses France, Germany, Italy, and the UK. But they're all pretty close to each other. It's a really, really close race here. They're only separated by like minuscule amounts. As one of Europe's long-time renewable energy leaders, Spain has made continued and massive investments in solar, says renewaleconomy.com.au, and wind capacity as well over the last decade. Of course, there's a lot of sun in Spain, a lot more than there is in Germany, in the UK, in most Western European countries. It's a great place for solar, but it's also a great place for wind. An early adopter of onshore wind, the technology now accounts for 20% of the country's power generation. That's a lot less than what it does in Germany, but considering the fact that it's a very sunny country, it's a surprising percentage of wind. Spain has continued investing in solar as well though, while hydropower, which used to be the country's largest source of renewable energy, now accounts for 10% of its total generation today. Conversely, Spain has made significant strides in phasing out coal-fired power generation, leaving natural gas as the primary source of its fossil fuel power generation. And natural gas isn't great, but it's a lot better than coal, that's for sure. Spain has also targeted a phase out of its nuclear power plants for 2035. It expects to reach 80% renewables by 2030, which is the same target as Germany. It's an interesting race here. It's like France, Spain, Germany, and the UK are all racing to hit these targets. What an awesome race this is. I mean, I actually, this is one of the coolest races in the history of races. I mean, look, if you look at races, like a 100 meter race, it's over in 10 seconds, it's boring. You know, no one cares. Oh, they do care, but this is so much more important and it's so much more exciting, but no one's actually talking about it. We should be actually praising Spain. Like Rice State Energy said, Spain's renewable energy achievements come as no surprise given its history of strategic investments and early adoption. Its progress should be a clear benchmark for counterparts and serve as a testament to the attainability of a cleaner energy future. Spain will reach this 80% mark well before 2030 considering their current trajectory, but it's really cool to see this happening. However, Spain is actually technically behind Germany in terms of both onshore wind and solar PV capacity. That said, Spain's trajectory in solar and wind energy exhibits remarkable growth prospects for the coming years. And the thing is to keep in mind, solar and wind just continue to get cheaper. So it'll just make more and more sense to in invest in these new types of energy than it ever has before. So what has this resulted in? Is it resulted in what the media are telling you about all these crazy energy prices? No, it hasn't actually. 
The direct result of Spain's renewable energy success is actually lower consumer prices, a critical achievement after the sky-high prices of 2022, according to Reistad Energy. Now, speaking of Germany, in Germany, wind power is going ballistic. Over the first quarter of this year, wind power represented 32.2% of all energy generated in the entire German grid. Wind energy once again replaced coal as Germany's most important source of electricity, according to preliminary figures published by the Federal Statistical Office last week. Despite a slight decrease in electricity generation compared to the same quarter of last year, wind power reached a share of 32.2% in Europe's largest economy in the first quarter of 2023. However, they're building four times more solar and wind than Germany. You can see how this race is actually getting very interesting. Here are the actual numbers. Only two gigawatt of solar and wind are currently under construction because Germany takes so long to permit everything. Seriously, that's the big problem. There is massive amounts of actual work planned, but it's actually not getting permitted because of the strict regulations in Germany on everything. It's you're regulated on what you eat. No, I'm joking. But regulations are, as Tesla know, very tough in Germany. That means that actually... Spain and the UK have eight gigawatts of wind and solar being built right now, and Germany only two. So Germany's falling behind this race to Spain and the UK. That said, Germany does have some of the most ambitious decarbonization plans of any country in the world. While the UK, EU, and US have pledged net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, Germany is aiming to do it in 2045, following a 2021 landmark court ruling that the that deemed earlier climate ambitions were unconstitutional. The next largest economy in the world with a 2045 net zero pledge is actually Sweden, a country with an economy one eighth the size of Germany's and one which already sources more than 75% of its electricity from nuclear and hydroelectric facilities. The challenge for Germany, which is in the process of phasing out its nuclear power stations and continues to burn coal for more than one quarter of its electricity is far more profound. New analysis on data from Global Data Energy Monitor's parent company of Europe's power plants pipeline shows that as yet, Germany is not deploying renewable energy capacity at the scale necessary to meet its net zero target, unlike its competitors or its fellow countries, the UK, Spain, and even France. Germany's climate plans see solar and wind driving the country's transition to a net zero economy. But just two gigawatt of new solar and wind power capacity are being built in the country at the moment, compared with more than eight gigawatts in Spain and the UK, which are currently Europe's leaders. The UK's regular major auctions of offshore wind permits mean the country has maintained a steady flow of new wind construction projects. Meanwhile, Spain's government has ensured projects reach construction stage by introducing streamlined planning rules. That's the key here. Introducing streamlined planning rules in March of 2022 to shorten permitting processes for renewable projects that have a capacity below 150 megawatts and a low or medium impact on the environment. Germany has been unable to keep up with the UK and Spain for this exact reason. Its permitting processes are archaic, slow, and take an eternity. In fact, it's well known that one of the major airports in Germany took 19 years to build, mostly thanks to permitting rules. If you actually look at what Germany has under construction right now, it's virtually nothing in comparison to many other European countries. For example, the UK has 8.64 gigawatts of wind currently under construction. Spain has 2.3 Finland has 3.88, Sweden has 3.7, France has 2.7, Netherlands has 2.43, Poland is actually even beating Germany with 1.34, and Germany has only 1.2. And Spain is absolutely belting Germany when it comes to solar, which is meant to be a big part of Germany's plans. Spain has more than 6 gigawatts of solar currently under deployment and construction today. What all of this means is that the UK, Spain, Finland, Sweden, France, the Netherlands, 
and Poland are all deploying a lot more wind and solar now than what Germany is. And Germany is actually falling behind in their deployment of these technologies. In fact, in their deployment of renewable energy period. So they're publicly saying we're aiming for this impressive target. What they're actually doing doesn't come anywhere close to meeting their claims. All of it comes down, like I said, to their permitting. Hopefully they can fix that and start catching up to some of these other European powerhouses who are really getting moving on installing massive amounts of solar and wind. Either way, it's definitely true that Europe is headed in the right direction with their renewable energy deployment. Regardless of Germany, the rest of Europe is doing very, very well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.